The A3 e-tron plug-in hybrid electric vehicle gives you the freedom to drive fuel-free on shorter trips, while the gasoline engine allows longer journeys when desired. Transitioning from all-electric driving to hybrid power to all gasoline power automatically. You can select a driving mode, electric, hybrid, or battery hold by depressing the EV switch on the center dash panel. You can switch modes while driving. The modes will display in the driver information system and in the optional MMI Navigation Plus display. In EV mode, the e-tron starts the vehicle in electric power only and remains in electric power mode unless the gas engine is required for driver demands. As long as the battery has a charge, EV mode is the default mode and is best in city and stop and go driving or relatively short distances. When the battery becomes discharged, the e-tron switches to gas power. Hybrid mode offers combined electric and gas engine power with the system managing which power source is best for the conditions. In battery hold mode, the e-tron will use the gas engine exclusively to retain the charge in the battery. In both hybrid and battery hold modes, the gas engine may turn off at full stops to maximize fuel economy. When you're going down hills or when you take your foot off the accelerator at highway speeds, the combustion engine may shut off, the transmission decouples, and the e-tron coasts using no energy sources. For the best fuel economy, your mode strategy will vary depending on driving conditions, but there are some operating characteristics that you should be aware of. Selecting sport while in EV mode will automatically switch the system to battery hold mode and activate the gasoline engine. Pushing the accelerator to the floor while in EV mode will engage the gasoline engine for greater acceleration at higher speeds. The e-tron will then remain in battery hold mode unless you switch back to EV mode. You can monitor instantaneous power consumption with the power meter. While in the car menu in the virtual cockpit, press the right control button. Scroll to left dial. Select power meter and the left side gauge will show the relative amount of power being consumed at any given time. You can also select a combined power meter and tachometer gauge. When the e-tron is off, the power meter is in the off position. When ignition is on, the power meter moves to the ready position. When you drive carefully at lower speeds, the power meter stays in the 0 to 30% power range. With the gas engine running at higher speeds, the power meter will be in the 30% to 100% range. Hard accelerating, requiring the power of the gasoline engine combined with the torque of the electric motor, pushes the power meter above 100% into boost mode. When you release your foot from the accelerator and begin braking, the power meter moves into charge mode as the vehicle generates electricity to send back to the battery. When the vehicle is stationary, there is no energy flow. When vehicle regeneration is occurring, the flow of the power is from the wheels to the battery. If you are driving in EV mode, the flow of power is from the battery to the wheels. When the vehicle is being powered by the gasoline engine, the flow of power goes from the combustion engine to the wheels. Or if it's charging the battery as well, the flow is from the combustion engine to the wheels and to the battery. To view the onboard computer or energy flow indicator in models without the virtual cockpit, select the vehicle menu, then scroll down to select the information you would like to have displayed in the driver information system. On the standard instrument cluster, the power meter is a fixed gauge. To display a tachometer, use the arrows to select the car function. Press the menu button on the steering wheel, then scroll and select tachometer which will now be displayed. And if you would like to see a map with a radius of your potential electric range, press the right control button while a navigation map is displayed. Choose map settings, map display, and electric range. This will now display a range of approximately how far you can go on your current battery charge in EV mode. 
The driving mode efficiency of the A3 e-tron lets you choose the way the vehicle uses power to get you where you want to go, putting the power of choice in your hands. Thank <laughs> you.